Browse categories are a prominent feature of every Aspen Discovery catalog and are completely customizable. With Browse categories, you can highlight new titles, popular titles, unique collections, and even New York Times bestseller lists or staff lists. Browse categories can also be scheduled to automatically appear or disappear from your main page, which is great for seasonal topics, events, or just ensuring that your browse categories stay fresh with different content. Browse categories offer your patrons a highly visual way to peruse your collection. Just like popular streaming services, your users can flip through categories and subcategories until they find something that catches their eye. Clicking on a cover will bring up a description and the available formats. Clicking on the title will bring you straight to the detailed record for even more information. Users can interact with browse categories in a few different ways. The default view can be toggled back and forth from covers to grid view, which will display the titles. If you no longer want to see a browse category, you can click the hide button. To see what's been hidden, click the show hidden browse categories button. When you're customizing your browse categories, you can also include the recommended for you, your saved searches, and your lists browse categories. These will only appear to users who are logged in and only if they have rated titles in your catalog, created lists, or if they've saved any searches. The addition of these browse categories creates a really cool, truly personalized experience every time they visit your site. Now, let's take a look at some of the browse categories our library partners have created. This is Benbrook Public Library, and they have a lot of cool browse categories, including video games, they feature their library of things items, including custom uploaded cover images for those records. And they also have put together these really cool binge boxes for movie nights. Next we have Jackson County Library Services and they have a really cool browse category that ties in with recommendations from their blog. They also feature New York Times bestsellers lists. They have award winners and items from their Spanish language collection. The main Library Alliance created a browse category to feature authors from their community event, the Morristown Festival of Books and they created these browse categories using lists and uploaded custom cover images with photos of the authors to make them even more unique and visually appealing. And of course, clicking on any of these authors will take you to that list with their books. Tinley Park Public Library also uses lists for their browse categories and they feature suggestions by genre for different age groups and audiences. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has inspired you with ideas for your own library. To learn how to create browse categories and more, please watch our other instructional videos. Thank you.